This is where we look at Coast Carolina and how they ran the triple option in the 2021 season. The very first look that we're going to talk about is triple option whenever they get into a three-back set. Right here, you can see a little bit of motion right there started in just a two-back set, got to their three-back set. They're actually running triple option with a dive going that direction. He arcs around for the pull. He's the dive. They're reading these two guys right here. So right here, they're reading this three technique or big gap player right here for the dive. And they're going to read this C gap player, possibly six technique right here for the pitch. And they're just working up to the backer. So basically, they're running an inside zone going that way up to that backer. And these guys are going to release straight up to these linebackers here. And he's going to arc outside. So we'll take a look at it. Right here, as you see, just a little bit of motion. Once that ball snapped, he's starting back that direction. And you look at the line getting a double there, going up, basing right there on that end. And these guys are releasing backside. As soon as that thing is snapped, they're releasing. They're slipping right there, going straight to those linebackers. He's outside releasing there, up to that backer as well. Whenever you look at it, it just looks like they don't block anybody over here on this side, which is great because they're reading it. He's on almost like an outside zone path. You can see right there going pretty flat, trying to read that double team for the possible cutback. And obviously, whenever you're reading these interior linemen, a lot of times they're not quite as good at playing those reads. They haven't drilled nearly as much as these outside ends have. And as you can see, as he sees that back coming, he's squeezing hard and he's chasing any of that squeeze. You're getting a pull, and now he's bluffing on that end, which again, if you run that split zone, this guy's used to trying to come down and squeeze and wrong shoulder all this and whatever try to turn all that stuff back to those linebackers right here with that bluff then he goes around the edge he squeezes down makes it an easy pitch read right there for coastal carolina and again as we look at it you can see just squeezes down pulls it little bluff right there pitch it happens pretty quickly as you can see right there it gets to the front back hip to the front hip takes one hop and then he's flipping the ball out there to the back there's that tight end working all the way around right here working outside shoulder, getting the ball into space, circling the defense right there. Obviously, this safety that came down, every now and then they're going to beat the block, which was what happens right there. They beat that block of the tight end, but right there, able to run through contact, getting the ball in space on that pitch, which is obviously what everybody's trying to do, get to that pitch phase, get the ball out there in space, and get rolling with that triple option. Same game, another look, similar set here. Again, three, three backs in the backfield. Didn't motion this time to it, but again, Running triple option that direction. These are our read guys. Everybody's gonna release up on that side. As you can see, again, double team up right there. Base, he's slipping to that backer. He's gonna slip to that backer. He's arcing for the alley. He's coming back around, bluffing to that space. And again, outside zone look. And if you're looking at these interior linemen right here for the read, he's putting hands on that guy that's slipping, trying to keep him from getting up on those linebackers as he's doing his responsibility, which is just sliding down. Turns into a pull. Now here comes the quarterback right here. This time this DN didn't get upfield. He, he actually stayed with those down linemen. Again, trying to keep him off those linebackers. So he's a little bit tighter. So the quarterback, McCall, has to take this thing to him a little bit more. Make him commit. Here we go again. Seeing against the forefront right here against the Citadel. As you can see again, reading these two. They do a really good job this time of sealing these backers for if they get a pull. So right here, this is a great job sitting on that backside hip. As you can see, their bodies right there, everybody's sealed. And if you look back to the read, this three tech, pretty easy read. He slides down, puts hands on, he squeezes there, so we're pulling it. If not, they would have been handing that outside zone right here. Again, great job here by the receiver. He knows that it's kind of a man look. He stutters right there, and then he goes, makes it look like a slant going to that safety, sticks it, going to that safety to block. Here was that bluff that had motioned in. So they had him at receiver and motioned him in. Now he's arcing all the way to the back side. So again, getting the pull. There's that arc coming around. Here's 49. He squeezed, try to keep him off the linebacker. So right there, easy read for the quarterback. Attack him, deal it. Probably tell him, hey man, give a little bit more ground right there. You don't want that guy really put hands on you. Deal it, get out of the way so you're not ever gonna have a chance to take a shot there. Again, circling the defense. Now the ball's in space and they're rolling. Here's Coastal giving just a little bit different look. Instead of sitting in a stagnant three back look, they actually motion back there to the backfield now he's the option guy he's the pitch relationship there's the outside zone he's wrapping around so again forefront here from app state working straight up trying to double right there to the middle doubling there up as well you can see he squeezes staying flat gets a pull now with this bluff you can see what happens this end actually widens 
So instead of just trying to run around right there, he keeps widening, so now he just blocks that guy. If that guy keeps widening with you, just take him where he wants to go. And right here, McCall, obviously with that read, he's widening, he's pressing it to him. Now there's the alley he wants to press it into, keep stretching that thing, and right there it gets vertical. Gets about four or five yards. Uh, not Again, not a just huge gain, but right there, making him stay home, a little bit different look there. Uh, and possibly having a chance for that quarterback to pop if he wouldn't just gotten tripped up right there at the last moment. Uh, but you can see what they're trying to do. Again, read those guys, get the numbers, get a little bit of misdirection, and right there had a chance to get the ball in space. Again, three back set, but this time they've got a receiver out here instead of a tight end. Again, run triple option here to the right. And as you play it, you can see inside release there. Maybe he's a two tech. He ends up slanting outside. So right here, easy read for the quarterback. As you can see, the snap's not perfect, a little bit to the right, but he's still able to get his eyes to it, sees him go outside, hand that ball right there, now they're rolling. As you can see right here, with the pitch relationship, he's in the pistol this time. He actually jabs that direction, and then he comes out here for the pitch relationship. So right there, again, they get a slant that direction. Here's the bluff coming back this way. He's avoiding that, but you can see how wide he's gotten. Now that cut back right there has got a lot of space, and they're rolling. Even though he slides in, that's a long way to go for these guys. A lot of space, and right there, those guys are running downhill. As you look outside, you can see this receiver. He's coming here. He's getting the safety. Uh, if you can ever take care of the safety as opposed to corners, it's going to be a little bit better because those safeties are the ones that are going to be the ones filling the alley and trying to tackle. So right there, they get up on the safety. These guys get a good double team up. Now they're rolling right there. This backer tried to go cut to the back side. Now he's not able to get there. As you look at the triple to the backside with a little bit of a fake, I see with that going out, he's handing the ball. Now he would be option off this guy. He'd gotten wide as well. So right there, easy hand. As you can see, that defense is getting split with that option. There's a lot of guys going that direction, and the ball is traveling down the middle of the field for a pretty decent gain there for Coastal. Another look here from this three-back set. This time they're in an unbalanced set, so they got two receivers over to the right on the ball. And again, triple option going to the right, reading these two guys, and they're just slipping. So right here, he's going to slip up to that backer, slipping up to that backer, doubling there, basing. He's going to bluff here to the back side for the pitch, leading up on the safety corner, whoever it is that shows up. So right here, as it's played, see the initial read, slipping inside up to that backer. He squeezes down, obvious pull right there. He, he With that bluff, it also influences him, makes it an easy read. For the quarterback, so he gets a pull. Now he's attacking this DN. We'll look at this DN and see what he does. Again, free release right, right there up to the backer. Now he's squeezing down on that bluff. And good job right there taking it to him, right? So if he just pitches it right here, he's squeezing down, and he's probably going to be able to play flat and make a play. But right there, takes it to him, makes him sit. Now he's able to get that ball out there wide. Now they're circling the defense. Good job here on this bluff. Obviously, with this unbalanced set, there's not really anybody here to set the edge, especially if he slides in. So right here on the bluff, he just road, runs all the way around, and they circle it all the way around. He actually picks up this linebacker that's trying to get over the top of this tackle here, but he's able to help out. Now they're all getting the sideline, and a little bit of speed right there. They're able to outrun him for a big gain and a touchdown for Coastal in the bowl game. This look here from Coastal, I'm not sure if they're reading this guy, and this guy or really almost looks like they're reading these two here. So... As you can see, this plate is almost like this guy slanting across. He, so he just takes him again, doubling there to their base. He's coming around. They actually come in and crack that guy, and they have him come around for the corner. So, again, that outside zone, he just takes him. Now, obviously, if he could have slipped him inside or whatever, he's probably going up to that backer. But either way, both these guys are squeezing down. He's got his shoulders turned, squeezing down. Trying to get hands on that tackle, keep him up from that linebacker. But what, right here, what kind of makes me think that they are running it and reading these two is he slips up to this linebacker instead of the one he typically would, which would be number two right here. So gets a pull right there. Let's go back and look at his eyes, see if we can tell. It almost looks like his eyes are going kind of there to the middle, but if I had to guess, his eyes are there. So pull, stretching this thing. Now he's pitching off the next guy, which they actually cracked, but it gets a pitch off of it. Now again, they are in space and creating a really big play here. A little bit different, not sure if they just knew that these guys were slanting or switching gaps or whatever and wanted to read these two or it just happened when he crosses his face he just washes that guy as far as he can and then he adjusted off of it and took the middle linebacker but either way good read uh, big play right there and one of the better football games of the year uh, in their bowl game against NIU this is a little bit different look here from Coastal 
And I believe the reason being is this is a three front here from ULM. You can see it's a five one box basically. So what they end up doing, again, they're gonna read these two defenders here. They end up doubling there up, base, base. He's coming backside. They actually, instead of bluffing it, it looks like they almost block this five technique for whatever he is. And right here, they'll pitch off of this guy and they switch the tackle and the receiver. They have this tackle actually arc out there for the corner. He comes in there for the safety of the alley. So as it's played, you can see there's basically zone working up right there. He's coming right here, triple option. Again, to the right, you can see this end squeeze. He's squeezing right here. This tight end is actually coming and he blocks him. So right there, he blocks him. In case it's a give, then he can hit it right there. But as you can see, they're reading him. Pull, because he's squeezing that thing down. Now they're attacking right here. You can see this tackle, once the ball is snapped, he is arcing right there. This right receiver is getting into the alley. So right there, pull. Now they're attacking right there. You can see how he widens. So definitely have to take it to him. Good job right there of attacking him. And then once he commits, just dealing it real good pitch right there, heart to heart. Puts it right there on his chest. And now he's able to outrun that end and get in the space again right there. And again, creating big plays right here with triple option. I actually scored a touchdown here against ULM. Here's what against UMass again, running it to the left. And as you can see, as it snapped, a really hard squeeze there from the initial read. He's really trying to get hands on that guard. He doesn't want him to release up. So right there, real easy read. And right here, if you're watching this end, he squeezes down hard as well. Put the hands, but then he's got his shoulders turned. If you're just running the zone read, this might be a pull for that as well. But right here, he pulls it. That guy is gone, so he's like, hey, better give it to the fast guy. So he just flips it out there, gets out of, out of his way, lets the guy that can actually run uh, really well take the football, see what he can do with it. So really easy read there. Uh, UMass definitely looked like they had no clue that any option had ever been ran by Coastal Carolina. Uh, so they just flip it out there, uh, let their guy that can run go. So good decision there by the quarterback, good easy read.